Greetings everyone, this is a response video to a certain guy named Age Bomber Guy. Now I actually made a response video to his video when it came out, so in late 2016, but I didn't really respond to him per se, it was more a reassurance to my non-white supporters that they indeed can still partake and um, adhere to my teachings, I utilized the example of my affinity for Chinese culture growing up and taking good examples from movie stars such as Jet Li. But I do recommend that you watch that video. I might have said some things differently if I made it today, but it is what it is. The main points are still legit and are representative to my views at this particular moment. Now I have over these last few years perhaps become a bit more humble and mature so I will address his video in um, hopefully a bit more mature fashion because in the last response video I said something mean and derogatory to him and uh, yeah it is what it is you can check the video as I said but to just refute some of the points before I get to the main point of this video and this is a response to all leftists, so my hope is that if you watched his video and you become aware of me, you will stumble upon this video and I will give a bit of a presentation and perhaps some insights which, which will make your life better. So first and foremost, just refuting some of his points, we can talk first about the gaming videos I have on this channel aren't supposed to be taken 100% seriously. I do believe that most people understand this, but just for the record, don't take them ultra seriously. They are light-hearted entertainment, and I have plenty of videos who are not entertainment. Actually, the only ones who are entertainment would be the gaming videos and, to a certain extent, the Games Kitchen videos. For most people, you would understand which are serious and which are not, but just throwing it out there for good measure. Now, in regards to books, if it makes anyone feel better, I have read about 50% non-fiction books and 50% fiction books. The reason I read so many fiction books is to get training motivation and life motivation and uh, not to break my streak of humility here, but the results I have received as a natural, which means I haven't taken any steroids. If you claim otherwise, you are a liar. It's not about your opinion, it's just the objective truth, I have never taken any steroids. The results I have attained are quite spectacular if I may be so bold, therefore I obviously need a lot of motivation to keep pushing the pace in the Temple of Iron over a long period of time. Books, music, films are a great part of that, therefore I read a lot of epic fantasy and science fiction and historic fiction. So there is that, and also I have had an absolutely glorious adventure of a life over these last seven years in the crusade in the immaterium so um, all good there so that was the my refutation of um, the points now keep in mind also that since 2016 i have matured quite a bit so if you want to judge me please judge me upon my latest videos i've updated my worldview of course but the main point in regards to politics is the same. I'm not animated by politics at all. At this stage, I don't care, but I'm driven by loyalty towards my own family, my nation, my civilization. If anyone has a problem with that, it's uh, yeah, it's up to you. Uh, you may not agree with me, but I'm not gonna break my loyalty just because some guy calls me a far-right extremist or whatever. I'm still loyal to my own, and that is absolutely nothing strange with it at all. I expect all men who are men to be loyal to their own tribe, simple as that. Now on to the main point of this video, and this is to all leftists. I understand perfectly well why someone like H Bomber Guy or you know a lot of leftist haters I have, I understand perfectly well why you're acting the way you're acting. Uh, you're not coming to me with any good arguments, you're always coming with personal insults having something to do with steroids here or right-wing extremists there and I do understand because you think you have been brainwashed by the modern world that someone like me is a bully because I am so high up on my horse so I need to trample upon others this is absolutely not the case and I do believe that most guys who have followed me for a very long time knows that I've never been about that at all I've been about being in a position where I can put down a hand pull guys up 
with me. That is what gets me happy, helping people. So that is what animates me in my self-improvement crusade, as it were. So it's not about saying, oh, I am so good and everyone else is so bad. I am saying, yeah, sure, I am good. And I have been a bit cocky over the years, a bit narcissistic. But, you know, it's good in the end because that narcissism has pushed me to greater heights. And from those heights, I have attained some level of enlightenment that I can bestow on to others. So the end result is still good in my humble view. And and if you say to yourself, if you are a leftist, you can say to yourself after watching this video, you can say either, you know, no, this guy is completely wrong and everything he says is bad and it's a lie. Or you can say, yeah, this guy seems legit. I might give his teachings a shot. And then you come back to me in half a year or something and tell me if you feel better or worse for adhering to my teachings. And just a heads up, I have had plenty of leftists over the years. Shout out to ContraPoints and also to a certain extent to H Bomber Guy for bringing such traffic to me. They've said, you know what, I thought this in the beginning, I might not agree with you about all your political points, etc. But I do understand where you're coming from at least. So that's my encouragement to you all. If you're a leftist coming in here, give the videos a shot, give my teachings a shot. Then after a while you can evaluate, is this guy's teachings legit or not? And you can just ask, do you want to have the temporary pleasure of coming with a snide remark towards me or others? Or do you want to say, you know what, I'm gonna conduct myself as a mature and stoic man or woman and take the high ground on this and say, you know what, I'm not going to try to make myself feel better about my own insecurities. Instead, I'm going to put my ego to the side and say, you know what, I'm gonna hear this guy out. I'm going to try my best to get some insights from here. And sure, you might say, never am I going to listen to this right-wing extremist and take his advice on health or whatever. But if you do, I can promise you, you will get a better life. So it's at the end of the day, it's up to you. And also, lastly, we have to talk a bit about resentment. If you try to take away my confidence, for example, by saying something hurtful, and just some advice, it won't work now, I'm far too hardened to such criticism after many, many long years in the Immaterium. But if you do try it with someone, just keep in mind that at the end of the day, or the next day, it won't make you feel any better. The only way you can feel better is if you start improving yourself. You can't try to pull others down, because that won't get you further. It's just a temporary cope with your own insecurities. So if you are some sort of hater, regardless if you are a leftist or whatever you might be, if you hate on people, if you constantly come with negative criticism of guys like me, for example, it won't get you into a better position. So be a bit self-centered for a moment. Think what is best for me? What will get me in a better position tomorrow? Will it be to spend my time on Twitter or YouTube coming with these yeah, snide remarks? Or will it be to actively put aside my ego, put aside these temporary feelings of enjoyment or pleasure. So just try to abstain from the, the urge to come with these sort of snide and hateful comments and just focus on your own well-being and realize that pulling others down or trying to pull others down who make you feel inadequate, remember that you don't need to feel this way. It's not a zero-sum game. Just because you look upon someone like me and say, oh, this guy has this or that, it doesn't mean that you can't also have some sort of happiness or fulfillment in your life. So do try to be a bit more humble. Do try to be a bit less hateful. Hate will not get you to a good position if you let it consume you. And this I've seen with a lot of leftists. So do try to leave the hate behind. Do try to embark upon a quest of self-improvement. And lastly and most importantly, watch all of my videos, then subscribe and then come back in half a year and tell me how you feel. So thank you all for watching and have a great day ahead. XXO, boom.